That way. <laughs> Boy, it was really nice. <laughs> I speak unto thee and I say you are living in a time when men and women have given themselves over to the indulgence of self and what do they gain? I say they gain nothing except mounds of pounds, they gain nothing except despair, they gain nothing except depression from it all. For I say that the more that a man or a woman will take care of self and feed self and pamper self and love self, I say the more deteriorated they become. For I say that I have been God never intended for men to make a God of self, but I say that I've intended that they would deny self and follow me. And I say when men will violate my principles and think they can indulge themselves and love themselves and serve themselves and worship themselves, I say they kill themselves. For I say that men were never created to serve the God of self, I say they were created to serve me. And I say when men have deviated from what it is that I intend, what it is that I have provided for my own, I say they go in a way of damnation. And I say they go in a way that will prove to be destruction unto them because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I, a living God, absolutely do not intend that you would go in the way of stubborn, proud fools that is by serving self. But I say that I've intended that you would be serving me, the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. And I say that I've intended that you would walk uprightly and me ever make glad for my way. For I say it is me that I've been God who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me the living God who will indeed direct and correct, instruct and bring forth the ones who cleave to me, believe upon me and trust in me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God absolutely do not find pleasure in those who only want to make a fair show in the flesh that it is me that they serve when it absolutely is not true. For I say that when a man or a woman is serving themselves I say they are serving deception. And I say you are not meant to be serving self, you are meant to be serving me. That is, you are meant to be coming forth, make glad for the privilege to love me, to serve me and obey me each day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of life, the way of truth, and the way that is mercy intended. And I say it is only by repentance and restoration unto me that men are guided in the way of life. For I say when men give way to fleshly indulgence, when they give way to the love of self, when they give way to the promotion of who and what they are, I say they grow deader by the day. And I say the end of it is they destroy themselves because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I intend you to be made glad, ever thankful, that it is me you are privileged to love, to serve, and obey. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you can come forth knowing that in me you are given the blessedness day by day. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to have mercy prepared for those who will walk uprightly, for those who will deny themselves and follow me. But I say that the ones who are ever fighting and struggling against me because they want to have their own way to keep their own lives, I say they weary me in it all. For I say they claim they love me, they claim they want to serve me, yet I say they will not release themselves unto me. But I say they are ever harboring their self-life as though it were some special treasure when really it is the way of death and damnation of soul. And I say when men will be so blinded, so sure they are right when they are wrong, I say they are magnified fools. And I say they go in a way that will prove to be destruction unto them, 
and all the while they think they have gained something in this life. That is, by living for self, by loving self, by promoting self and making self their God. Now I say this day that I the living God am giving the call to all men to repent because I say that all are needy of the same. That is, they are needy of turning away from carnality, the love of self and the promotion of the same unto loving me. For I say, when men will truly love me and walk in the way that I provide, then I say they are strengthened each day. And I say they are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light that is only to be found through me. Now I say this day when I the living God do give the call to all to repent, that is exactly what men are meant to do. And I say when men will hear me and obey me, then I say they will want to run from the love of self. But I say when men are convinced that they are wonderful, that they are all right, that they are just fine, I say they will literally despise my call. And I say they will hate to hear the call to repentance and want no part of the same. Now I say this day that I the living God do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I intend you to be coming forth ever made glad in me. And I say that I intend that you would walk in the way that I give you ever thankful that it is me that you serve. For I say it is me the living God who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all blessedness, the way that is mercy intended. And I say, when you will come forth in the way that I give, it is the way of my life. But I say, when men will choose the way of promotion of self, I say they are choosing the way of a fool. Now I say that a man can find what appears to be a good cause, and all the while he is promoting himself. That is, he may act as though he is really dedicated to a cause, but I say that he's actually using the same to promote how great he is. That is, as though he were some great king, some god, some great discovering guru has found some new thing. And I say, all the while he is using the very cause for the promotion of his self. And I say that he will not pay heed to me, he will not have remembrance of me, or even mention me. Now I say, such a man as this, while others may think he is some great thing, I say, before me he is nothing but a fool. For I say that he's choosing to promote that which I the living God did not intend at all. For I say that I do not intend that men would promote themselves, but I say that I intend that men would be promoting me. That is, promoting my way, my truth, and my light, my mercy, my strength, and my hope day by day. Now I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to continue, the privilege to walk uprightly, and be guided forth by me. And I say, be made glad that when you are serving me, you are serving the life of who I am. And I say, be made glad that when you are serving me, you will come forth rejoicing. For I say, you are not meant to be serving that which men would say is great and grand and glorious, which is nothing but the way of destruction. But I say, you are meant to be serving me, the great God who has created thee and brought thee forth. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I the living God do offer to the sons of men, I say it is the way of eternal life. And I say when men will abandon the same or refuse to choose my way for their own way, they prove they are blinded fools. For I say that the way of a man will end, he will be dead, and that will be the end of him, except his soul will end in the torments of hell. And I say that he'll have no life at all, and I say that his time has been shortened by his choices against me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I call you to come forth in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day it is me you can serve and seek to please. For I say it is a wondrous thing to be repentant, to know that that is indeed one of the ways that men are saved and brought forth in me. For I say, when men repent, they are saved from the penalty of sin, they are spared from damnation of soul, and I say, they are guided in life. And I say, if they will continue in repentance, revolution, then I say, it is me, the living God, who gives my tender mercy unto them. I say, if men would truly discover the secret, the joy, the beauty, the wisdom of repentance, I say they would exercise themselves in the same day by day. And I say they would find that they do draw close to me because they are humbling themselves unto me. But I say because men are full of pride and the love of self, I say they scoff, they mock repentance as though they do not need the same. But I say they are fools who are blinding themselves by their decision to walk afar off from me. 
that is, by loving themselves, promoting themselves, and living in indulgence of self, what do they gain? I say they gain nothing except the damnation of their souls. And I say when they are found in hell forever, they will be locked into self. There will be no escape from it all. And I say they will be see seeing their own ugliness, their own greed, and their own lust, and what those things have done to them. And I say they will cry out in the agony of torment of knowing they cannot ever be released from the prison house of self. And I say it is because they were wanting their own way, loving themselves and desiring to live in self. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to love yourself, to live in self, and be so far from me. But I say that I call you to be thankful each day that it is me you are privileged to look unto and believe. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can come forth ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that you can be given tender mercy by me, the one true God who is caring for thee. Now I say this day, make up your mind to love me, to serve me, to deny yourself, and walk in the way that I ordain. For I say, when you really will learn to say no to you, to self, to the greed, to the lust, to the promotion of the same, then I say you are able to be useful unto me. And I say, when you learn what it is to deny yourself in order to obey me, then I say you are disciplined to be of use to me. But I say, when you are ever longing and lusting for your own way, I say you are going in the way of despair. And I say you are choosing to be losing by going in the way that will be death unto thee, because you have departed from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon those who have gone after Babylon's Jesus. Why do they love it so? That is the way that is deception, the way that is the love of self and the promotion of the same. I say it is because they have chosen another God, another way, the way of their own despair. And I say they've chosen that which will prove to be damnation of their souls. I say they have chosen a way whereby they can flaunt themselves, they can brag on themselves, they can strut in their pride, and all the while they are deceived. For I say that I, the living God, do resist the proud, but I say that I give my grace to the humble, the ones who will repent before me. That is, the ones who will bow down, the ones who will be subject and walk in my way. And I say it is me, the living God, who will bring them forth in me, rejoicing as they continue in repentance, revolution, the straight and narrow way that I provide. Now I say this day, be thankful to receive the truth, to walk in the truth, and be directed in the truth. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed be denying self to take up the way that I provide. That is, the way that is mercy, the way that is truth, and the way that is hope always. For I say, when men will adhere to me, believe upon me, and continue in repentance unto me, they are guided by me. But I say, when men are locked in the prison house of self, I say, that is all they have. And I say, that self has the agenda of death that is the inevitable consequence unto all men. And I say, when men are adherents to the love of self, they are grossly deceived. And I say they are taken in a way that will damn their souls. And I say they will live forever in hell under the agony of the same. But I say when men will choose me, I say they will live forever in the way of eternal life, whereby they abide in the power of my presence and partake of me. Now I say this day be thankful that you can indeed believe me, trust me, and obey me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, am the one who will give to my own the way that is blessedness, the way that is truth, the way that is mercy. And I say, be thankful that through me you are uplifted, guided, and directed each day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. I say, when you see a man who is loving himself, indulging himself, pampering himself, where does it end? I say that it ends in destruction, it ends in hatred, it ends in bitterness and accusation because he has made his own prison house. But I say that the man who is willing to deny himself to follow after me, I say that he comes forth renewed by me because he is participating in repentance, revolution, the humility of the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city that set up a hill for what you did.
God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now is the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do.